Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the Eastern Economic Corridor, or the EEC here in Thailand. And long story short, what is the EEC? Well, the EEC, as we've discussed in some other videos, it's basically three provinces, Rayong, Chonburi, and Cha Chang Sao, down in, in the eastern, sort of southeastern, if you want to call that south. Thailand does go further south than that, but it's kind of the southern part of the eastern side of the country. This eastern corridor is basically being, for a variety of different reasons, it's, it's becoming a major business hub here in Thailand. And there's also enabling legislation which has been promulgated, which allows for certain concessions and benefits, not dissimilar from the Board of Investment or BOI here in Thailand, wherein folks who are doing business within the geographical confines of the EEC may be able to gain some serious benefit. Now that said, the reason for the video, I was reading a recent article in Patia Mail, it's patiamail.com, article is titled, Patia is changing fast, but walking street safe for now. A lot of information in that article. I urge those who are, gonna, who are watching this video, go check out that article in detail. I'm gonna read a, just a tiny excerpt out of this that I thought was kind of interesting. Quoting directly, it, is, it has long been rumored, rumored that there is an EEC plan to knock down Walking Street and replace it by a family-friendly recreational center and business park. Well, that, you know, best laid plans of mice and men, as they say, even if there is a plan, I'm not sure I've ever seen a plan out there where the EEC specifically says, we're looking to take Walking Street and turn it into something totally different. The EEC can't just go down to Patia and just start unilaterally changing things associated with the city and the zoning and, you know, people's private property, depending on the circumstances. So I don't think it's overly likely that the EEC is going to go in and do that. But it does bring up a good, and the article brought up a good point. Yeah, Patia is changing fast. The economic corridor is rapidly changing. And I think it will change the complexion of Patia quite quickly, actually, because there's just going to be so much innovation and so much business activity coming in, all in a relatively compressed period of time that we're going to see a situation wherein, yeah, it's gonna have a major impact on the demography, just how everything works in that area. And this may be one of them. We, we may see a sort of gentrification of Patia as the rest of this decade plays out. Now, again, that's, that's certainly to some extent speculation, but we will certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation progresses.